A continuación presentamos el devocional diario traducido al inglés. En español lo puede encontrar de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias por el canal de YouTube. Centro Evangélico Vida Nueva. Dejamos más información abajo en la descripción del vídeo. Good morning to everyone and may the Lord bless you very richly. And thank you once again for being with us this morning uh, sharing the new devotional that today is going to be based in the Gospel of Matthew, specifically chapter 5, verses 11 and 12. And the word of the Lord says the following, Blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you, and say all kinds of evil things you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. So they persecuted the prophets, who were before you. It doesn't have to surprise us that the world is rejecting us, rather the opposite. What we should be surprised about is that the world is accepting us and never reject us, because a long history, believers, the ones who have other principles and values and other lifestyle, the ones that are going against the current, are always has always been rejected. rejected. From the beginning of times, the believers, including, they were prohibited from preaching the gospel. They were jailed, they were imprisoned, crucified, and they did all kinds of things that were terrible to be able to shut their mouth up. But the reality was that in these last 2,000 years, the devil has tried for every kind of ways, using everything he has available for him to silence the church, to erase the word of the Lord from the face of the Lord and that he has not been able to do that and he will never be able to because heaven and earth will pass away don't have a slightest doubt but the word of God will prevail forever we see that the common sense has already been erased from the face of the earth we see that the politicians Uh, are in favor of things that are completely against nature, believing that they're doing a favor to many. They forget that they're getting God in, in, against them. Of course, they don't have uh, God into account at, at any cost, because sooner or later, the time will come when God will do justice, and he will extend his arm, and nothing and no one will be able to stop that. It is true that the world, according to the word of God, is going from bad to worse, and we will see injustices, and we will see that the common sense will disappear, and we will see that they pressure and force people to accept things that are not supposed to. Everything because of a little amount of votes, and they want to stay in, in the power, but we believers do not believe that. We don't care who is uh, reigning and who is governing, because we know whom we have belief and we have a message to give to the world and we will continue to do so whether you, somebody likes it or not. Even if they persecuted things that have been produced last week, and if they invent laws to, uh, to prevail things that are not, we are here because believers have to be very courageous, courageous, daring, afford it because we know that things are going to be against us and that we will be like a, 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 a race against extinction but the, the word says that they will come out one way and they flee before you seven ways the bible calls blessed joyful to those who are persecuted and they're attacked one way or another and they slander of course using lies and manipulation it says that they have to remember at all times that these things have already happened they uh, to the prophets to the disciples to the followers of christ have always been followed But many of those empires, many of those kingdoms and leaders that were terrible and harmed the church and the people of the Lord Jesus Christ have disappeared. There are no longer uh, any trace of them, but the believers remain being here. It is a tragedy and it's a shame and it, and it speaks a lot about the people that have to use violence and lies and slander to be able to remain and to be able to discredit others. Condemning others, they ju try to justify their actions. But we don't have to do that. 
to those uh, tricks and those machinations because we have arms that are very powerful and one of them is without a doubt prayer we have to pray and ask the lord that he will keep us and use us and bless us and that whatever it may and whatever they say about us we will continue forward spreading the word of the lord and we will be here until he wants to and the day that he does not allow it then we will accept his will because we know that he never makes a mistake and he doesn't have to ask permission to anyone but the will of god is what we want in our lives to fulfill and and do and we will be here until he allows it to and we will feel happy and blessed to be able to endure things for the cause of the gospel what is terrible is to see believers insulting and and doing things against each other and they forget that we're all in the same boat we're all in the same way trying to honor and serve the lord the best way possible and the fight cannot be against us because it is against principalities and powers of darkness not the one next door not the one that doesn't believe like me not the one that is different have a lifestyle of preaching to well, express the word of god and his service to the lord that's not our struggle don't make a mistake our struggle is against darkness and evil things and machinations of the devil that are real but thanks to the lord in each and every one of them we have the victory because we're more than more than conquerors not simply conquerors but much more than conquerors because the victory of christ is our victory and if he resurrected from the dead that means that we're not worshiping and we're not honoring a, a, a dead that is false and or dead like some honor and serve including some waiting that that false messiah they proclaim will resurrect at some point in time like there's some that are expecting that to happen we know that the lord jesus christ fulfilled each and every one of the prophecies that i spoke about him he fulfilled everything as the scripture says that had to be fulfilled he rose on the third day and he will be coming back soon don't have the slightest doubt that everything is coming according to the design and the plan that the god has established when we hear the news of course when we observe what is happening in the world more than one can say but what is happening to the world well the world is happening the same thing that the that the lord has been saying that the world will be going from bad to worse that we will go into a buckle into a period of manipulation of lies and until everything produces the environment that is needed so that a sinister character arise and the bible talks about that and intends to bring peace and safety but we also know that in front of this it's uh it, we also know that if he was going to have his end until the lord establishes his end and all the nations will have to worship the king of kings and the lord of lords what a privilege wonderful privilege to have this information what an incredible thing to be chosen to be selected by the lord for this time in history in which we're seeing that prophecies that have been dormant for many time, many years are being fulfilled every day before our eyes no longer the nations are there and they are being positioned we know where they are we know how certain religions are being putting on the side of the enemy and everything is coming along just as god said blessed are we we're not little poor little things and victims but rather the opposite we are people of god chosen nation chosen by each one of us so that we can announce the virtues of those who call us from darkness into his marvelous light we have come out of darkness and now we're light the world have rejecting the light is found in darkness disoriented and confused and you just have to see the news right now and see what they're preaching certain people to know and conclude that the darkness and the spiritual blindness has taken over they have no conscience or values or principles or moral they're no longer and not even those expression that they used to say to us when we were little 
uh, good morning, good afternoon, thank you, how are you doing? All of that is disappearing, and we're living in a, a special of hung, jungle, a, a terrible madhouse where the crazy people are in power, and those who are the salt of the earth, we are like this place of everywhere. But we're happy and joyful because the Bible says, blessed are those when they say all kinds of evil things which they are saying that against you. Rejoice and be glad. And not only rejoice and be glad, but also it comes to my mind that text from James. And when you see in different trials, knowing that the trial of your faith produces patience, rejoice. Be happy. In other words, do not allow that nobody or nothing will steal the joy of your salvation the happiness of knowing that my, our sins have been forgiven and that the Lord Jesus Christ will be with us every day in a, every country that you find yourself, in any circumstance or struggle or problem, He is by my side. And if He is with us, then who can come against us? So everything that we are seeing in the world, and there is no nation that is escaping this, it doesn't matter, Central America, America, Europe, all the nations of the world have been, are being shaken in a tremendous way, and the same people of Israel are alone, and they're more, more according to the plan of God for the late times. So, my dear brethren, today we're giving thanks to the Lord, and we're giving Him all the glory, the honor, because we know that the word has been fulfilled, that we're seeing in the right way, that we are have not made a, a mistake when talking about the Savior or Messiah, but rather the opposite. We reaffirm that the Lord Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. A thousand may fall at your side, a ten thousand at your high right side, but it shall not come near you. Some will get called, of course, the Bible says so, and others will apostatize. The Bible says that too. And others will rise up against those who have never have to do, and some will abandon the ministry for the pressure. And all of that is being written. We are not surprised. It's just a matter of reading the Word, of reading the Bible, and to put only and exclusively our eyes on, on the Lord. The pastors will fail you, church will fail you, the brethren, the friends, the family, everything can fail us. But he will remain always faithful to our by our side because he cannot deny himself and he will never fail. So just stop blaming others and pointing fingers to anyone to justify your weaknesses and your, and your things that are wrong. And let's only see the Lord and to give the honor and the glory and the praise because he's a good God and his mercies are forever. I invite you to do a prayer with us, like every morning, presenting our lives and this day to our good God. Father in heaven, thank you from the depth of our hearts, because we are living times that are extraordinary, times, Lord, that many will long to live. And we give you thanks, because we see that your word is alive, efficient, and is being fulfilled, and help us to remain firm in these difficult days and never stray our, and take our eyes out and trust from you. Strengthen our faith, Lord, that we may be courageous, that we continue moving forward, advancing and conquering the terrain that the, the enemy tries to, to take that by speaking to the world about the love of Christ in a world without mercy, without love. We have a message to share and help us and strengthen us so that we can continue to do so. We put our lives and this day in your hands with thanksgiving, and we ask all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. My dear brethren, may the Lord bless you very richly. If you want to know a little bit more about the spiritual world and how to prepare yourself to live in victory and firm in the ways of the Lord, I recommend that you will buy in Amazon the last book that the Lord has allowed us to publish and it's titled Defeating the Flesh. If you don't have that, I encourage you that you will get that on Amazon, Defeating the Flesh, so that you will be able to have some kind of information, material, that is good enough to live Christian lives in victory. It is the last book that the Lord has allowed us to publish. 
to remind you also that next June we will be in Guatemala carrying out our second Congress. I hope that many of you can attend and also from the 12th and 14th of June we will be in Holland in Amsterdam. There will be brothers from France, Belgium and other countries. I encourage you to make an effort to be also with us from the 12th to the 14th of, of Ju July. All the information is published in Facebook and you only have to write or call and they will tell you what to do. May the Lord bless you and enjoy and we rejoice in these difficult times that we're living because we know that the Lord is with us. May the Lord bless you, my dear brethren.